What's up guys, welcome back to Virtual Reality. Today I will show you how you can play PC VR games like Skyrim VR, Fallout VR or Doom VFR on the Oculus Quest. This is done via the RiftCAD software and the V-Rich technology. It's not final yet, so don't expect too much, but it will work. So I will show you how you can set up this. My name is Voodoo and you can find hardware test news, gameplays and events on my channel. So subscribe and don't miss anything. Thanks to my official Patreon sponsor, Woodghost VR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay, and here we are. So the first thing that you have to do is go onto the Oculus app on your smartphone and then go to your Oculus Quest, go on more settings and then go on developer mode and then switch this on. So this is very important that your Oculus Quest is in developer mode. So next thing that you have to do is download this APK. You can find the link here, the VRich APK and the Android ADB tools here. Then unzip this platform tools to uh, any location on your PC. I choose C temp platform tools and here you go. This is what, what you need uh, to have. And the APK you downloaded, you copy this to the same folder. So if you copy the platform tools to C temp platform tools, also copy the APK to C temp platform tools. So here we go. And what we now have to do is open a PowerShell. So hit shift, right click, and then open PowerShell window here. Sorry for the German uh, <laughs> um, operating system, but I will tell you the English words, of course. So, so this is a PowerShell window. And what we're gonna do now is connect the Oculus Quest via a cable to PC. And then it, there should be a prompt that asks, um, should the PC have uh, developer access to the Quest and in, inside the Oculus Quest and then uh, take your controller and choose yes, so allow it. Perhaps this, uh, this step uh, would come when you uh, connect the USB cable or when you do this. So copy this command into the um, here and then paste it here and then it says unauthorized. So this is not good. We have to check out uh, in, inside the Oculus Quest now so that we could allow. This is what I meant. So I, I hit now on um, OK. Then, then let's try that again. And now you see it's not unauthorized. This is very good. Then the next step is install this APK. Co copy this command here. I, I won't do this now because I already did it for my German channel. So you, you put it this here, this command, then hit enter and it will say success. Then you can close this window now and you are ready to go. You can um, turn on your quest, on, put it on your head and then you go to the unknown sources tab and then you have the vRich app installed. That's it for the preparation and let's now check the RiftCAD software. Okay, and what you have to do now is download the RiftCAD software to your PC. So go on riftcad.com slash vrich. Then it says download. You will download the RiftCAD installer and then you, you click this RiftCAD 2.0 and then you get into this app and yeah what you gonna do is um, have your quest on the same um, network than your pc connected to 5 gigahertz wi-fi and then it should already say is that your device and it says quest and you hit yes and then it's connecting and here we are so if you paid for the software it's, i think it's like 15 bucks then you can log in and you have unlimited time. But if you want to just uh, test it in the free version, you get five minutes testing time. And yeah, what you have to do now is just run Steam VR 
and then hit on the play button and then you can play like every VR game you want. Okay guys and if everything is set up good then it says VRich is running now and Steam says these three symbols are green and yeah as you can see I can move around my Oculus Quest and everything works. I even have room scale so I can move here and here and here and we have our controllers here. They are tracked really good so the latency is really good to be honest. There is no big latency. However, the screen mirror that you see here is much better than what I see in the headset. It's, it's very blurry and it has no good graphics to be honest inside the headset. But now you can play any game you like, like Skyrim, Fallout or Doom, BFR, whatever PC game you want to play, it works. However, the controller mapping of the controllers are not so good. You can play around with the controller mapping app if you like in the Steam uh, VR settings. But yeah, it's, it's beta, it's, it's not final, so don't expect too much. However, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me, you can do this via Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!